this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by... Lee Ben, wait a minute, Lee. Are you still wearing your pyjamas, Lee? Look, look down, Lee. Look, you're wearing your pyjamas still. <gasps> How embarrassing. Come on, Lee, quickly. Go change. Go put your work clothes on because we're about to go to school. You can't show up to school wearing your pyjamas. Everyone will laugh at you. It'll be really embarrassing. Come on, put your proper clothes on, Lee, and then, then we can go in there and head off to school. How embarrassing. Everyone saw it as well, Lee. There we go. <laughs> Here's Lee wearing his normal attire, looking very lovely in his diamond leggings. Anyway, let's have our breakfast then, shall we? And by we, I generally mean me, but oh well. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. Look, there's a slice for you as well, Lee. There we go. Don't say I don't look after you. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Let's go. Let's go outside then. Let's play my, my new game. Let's play the Flower Shower Plantation Hydration Contraption Hose the Rose Edition. <laughs> and if you didn't see the, uh, the last episode, what we need to do is we need to try and water that rose by making water come out that dispenser. And to do that, there's a whole load of mechanisms and things we need to shoot and all sorts uh, of crazy contraption-y type things <laughs> that need to, to happen in the perfect order. And if it works, then yeah, we're going to we're gonna water the rose. So Lee, uh, you can go first this go. And uh, he needs to try and shoot that button all the way over there. You see on the orange block, if he hits that button, there we go. It fired an arrow. Oh, but it missed the next one. Okay, my go, my go. We'll have a, a few goes. And if it does doesn't seem to be working uh, then we're gonna we're gonna call it a day and try again in the next episode can I hit the button oh I just missed just missed can I get another one nope okay you can have one go Lee this is gonna be the final go though if you don't get this one then I'm gonna say we have failed so there he goes and nope Lee that's it that's it we failed today today wasn't the day oh that's really annoying <laughs> I really wanted it to work I really want you to see it all working perfectly I want just one perfect run where we can go through the entire contraption uh, with it working perfectly Perfectly. But today, as I said, uh, wasn't going to be the day, but it is going to be the day which I add someone to my love garden. And today to my love garden, I am adding Vivian. And I'm adding Vivian because she sent me this picture of an amazing Stampy Cat blanket that she made. And it looks absolutely amazing. It looks almost exactly uh, the same as my face. And it's huge. It's absolutely massive as well. Must have taken uh, a really long time to make. So I want to say uh, thank you very much for making it and sending me the picture, Vivian. And welcome to my love garden. Anyway, Lee, are you ready to go to school? Are you? Yes, good. So am I. So am I. Because that is where we're heading next. I spent uh, the last few episodes building a cool school and I'm going to head over there and there's going to be myself, Lee, as well as two other teachers uh, that are going to teach each other, as well as my dogs, uh, some very important things. There's uh, four subjects uh, that we're going to teach today. I'm going to teach combat, how to battle googlies. Lee is going to teach everyone how to bake. Squashy is going to teach everyone how to swim and Amy Lee is going to teach us how to do some gardening and flower arranging. So uh, we've got all four of those subjects coming up and uh, hopefully we can sneak a, a little bit of playtime in the middle. And here we go. Here are all of my other teachers ready to start the day, but we can't start yet. Every school day starts in the same way. It starts with the school bell. And if you listen to this, this is my school bell. Can you hear it there ringing away? There we go, and that means everyone needs to come in. Everyone come in, school started. Everyone come in and get to your classrooms. It's there ringing, and now I'm going to turn it off. Otherwise, that will get really, really annoying. <laughs> and uh, let's start with baking, then. Let's go and do baking with Lee. So here's uh, Lee's classroom and kitchen. Uh, I've got a, another fellow students down here, my <laughs> my dogs that are going to be learning with me. And so, Lee, you make amazing cakes. You need to teach us how to bake just like you. So, how do we how do we make your amazing, tasty cakes? And oh, I, li I think he's got a um a bit of a, a lesson plan down here. What does this say? Uh, step number one: cook meat, pie, and cookies. Okay, is, is that is that one of your your specialities? Is that one of your your dishes? Meat, pie, and cookies all, all, all together. Yeah, you have you have all of these three things together. Um, okay, I mean the meat and pie I get. Maybe you can have a cookie pie. That might be quite nice. Anyway, uh, let's go and uh, have a look in the chest and uh, see what ingredients we have. So we need to make cookies, and so we need to get some uh, cocoa beans and uh, also a, a little bit of wheat for that. 
and uh, then we need to we need to make all oh, pumpkin pie so we need a pumpkin uh, we need a, a little bit of sugar and uh, an egg as well I think we need for that and uh, what was the other thing oh we need to cook some meat as well so let's go and uh, grab some pork chops and uh, let's go and put them in the the oven first then so uh, my pork chops are there cooking away am I doing okay Lee is this, this is looking good so far okay so there's the the meat cooking I don't want to burn myself don't touch the oven and I need to go over to here and I need to, to make my cookies there we go there's eight cookies and a pumpkin pie and so once I've uh, waited for my my pork chops to cook I don't want to burn them oh I don't want to leave them in for too long there we go I don't think it burnt so Lee I have uh, pork chops that I cooked I have a pumpkin pie and some cookies. Is that right? Did I did I do it correct? Did I pass? Yay! Step one complete. Uh, so what's step number two then? Uh, step number two. Ooh, I like this step, Lee. This is a this is a good step. We've got to sample the food. So there's some some cookies down there for you. And I'm gonna. Mm, oh yes, yes, very good. Nice crumbly. Mm. Yeah, very, very good cookies. I think my I think uh, my dogs might want to sample a little bit of the food as well. As let's go and uh, give them some of the food, see if they like it. Yeah, do you like the pork chops? Are they nice and tasty? Are you enjoying them? Yes, of course they are. They love the pork chops. Look at their tails wagging. <laughs> oh dear. So there we go. There's uh, step number two done. I like step number So shall we just keep doing step number two over and over again, Lee? And <laughs> only joking, only joking. Right, so uh, step number three. Create a new meal. I've got to come up with my own dish, do I? My own stampy dish. Okay, I think I can do this. Let's let's see what we have again then. So we have some uh, some raw beef. Uh, I got uh, some breads. Uh, some more cooked chicken. Oh, some more pork chops in here. I might grab some of them. Uh, I might grab a, a few of these eggs. Oh, we've got some carrots as well. Let's grab some of these carrots and let's see if I can make up my own dish. So uh, I'm going to put in a, a few carrots into here. I'm going to make a um. I'm going to make a stew. I'm going to make stampy stew, okay? And so that's what that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put some carrots in there. I'm going to put some eggs in here as well. There we go. I'm going to put in a chicken into the stew as well. <laughs> Lots more eggs. I'm going to put some some cookies in. I'm going to put a pumpkin pie in. Uh, some some of this uh, raw beef and chicken and things. And there we go. Here's my here's my stew. Oh no, I picked all the ingredients back up. It's it's bouncing. It's all bouncing up. It's bubbling. It's bubbling so much. All of the ingredients are jumping straight back out the stew again. There we go. It's all gone inside. There we go, Lee. Do you want to? Do you want to try tasting some of my some of my stew? See what you you think of it. Is that is that a tasty stew? Is that good? There we go. Lee Bear likes my stew. <laughs> oh, do you want, do you need any ex extra chicken in your stew, or or is this one enough? Is <laughs> a bit of extra chicken? There we go. Have some have some more chicken. Uh, there we go. I've managed to to create my own dish. And so is that it for the lesson? Is that everything? Um, oh no, there, there's something else. Oh, I got a test. What's my test? Bake cake race. Ah, a race to, to bake a cake then, is it? Okay, so let, let, let's stand in the uh, the back of the classroom and uh, let's run over to the uh, the chest and grab all of the uh, the ingredients out of it. And the first person to, to bake a cake is going to win, okay? Right, I'm, I'm going to stand back in this corner with you, Lee, to make sure it's fair. I'm going to count to three and then we run, okay? And dogs, you can be in it as well. If you can stand up, if you bake a cake first, then you're going to win as well. Right, let's go in three, two, one, go, go. Go, 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 right, go to the chest, I need to grab the milk, oh no, I'm missing it, I'm missing it, milk, sugar, wheat, eggs, get to the crafting table, and make a cake, I've done it, I've done it, Lee, I've made the cake, I've made the cake, look, here it is, here it is, here it is on the floor, it's on the floor, the chicken's gone back in the stew, <laughs> there's nowhere Lee could place his cake, I think I only just was able to win there, no, careful, careful, not in the oven, not in the oven, the oven's hot, careful, not in the oven, you can jump in the cake, cool down on the, the icing of the cake, ah <laughs> oh dear, there we go, there was the, um, there was the, the test. So what you need to do now, Lee, is you need to give me a score out of 10. How well did I do in my baking class? So it could be from 0 to 10, 10 being the best, 0 being the worst. I think I, think I did okay. I made a, a lovely stew down there. I was very quick at baking my cake, even quicker than Lee. I got a 9 out of a 10. A 9 out of 10 for my baking. So thank you for my baking lesson, Lee. And let me go and sit the, uh, the dogs back round before they uh, get more paws all over the surfaces in your kitchen. And uh, I'm going to go next door and have my my next lesson and uh, my next lesson is going to be gardening with Amy Lee and oh I think she's I think she's talking to one of the plants I think she's there uh, whispering to one of the roses to get it to grow better um Amy Amy 
Amy, I'm here for my I'm here for my gardening class. I'm I'm here to to learn how to do gardening and flower arranging. Is this how you arrange your flowers? You just throw them on the floor. <laughs> there we go. That's a, a nice way to arrange your flowers. So uh, let's see what her lesson plan is here. Let's go and see uh, what we're doing today. So uh, step number one: planting some seeds. And I have planted some seeds before, but maybe I'm not doing it the most effective way possible. So uh, okay, let's. I guess we've got some some materials in here. We've got a a hoe, and uh, here are some seeds. So I'm going to plant some melon seeds, I think. I'm going to plant uh, two melon seeds. So you do it first, Amy, and uh, whatever technique you use to plant the seeds, uh, I'm going to copy you and uh, see if I can do it as effectively uh, as you did. So, okay, you jump up and down a little bit. You jump up on the plant pot. Uh, you spin in a circle looking down at the ground. Then you jump back down and then you break the plant pot. Brilliant! All right, I think I got it. I think I got it. Jump up here. Spin in a circle. Jump back down. Break the plant pot. And then plant the seeds. I think that was pretty good. I think that was pretty good. Let's do it at the same time then for the next two. Ready? So jump up here. Spin in a circle. Whoa. Jump back down. Break the plant pot. <laughs> and then plant the seeds. I'm not sure breaking the plant pot was actually supposed to be part of the game. Let's go Let's go fix the plant pot. Oh no, you can't actually put the, uh, the trap doors on it. <laughs> oh well, we broke the plant pot. Anyway, what's uh, step number two then? Oh, here we go. Placing flowers. This is what Amy really knows about. So do we have some Do we have some flowers in here? Here we go. Uh, let's go and grab a, a couple of these uh, yellow flowers. I've got a few lovely jubblies on me anyway. So once again, Rosie, uh, uh, Amy, sorry, I'm going to go and copy your technique. Okay, so I guess we got the, uh, the same technique as last time then. So we jump up, we spin in a circle, and then we jump down and place the flower. <laughs> is the is this spinning really necessary, Amy? Will it will it not work properly if we don't spin? Will it not plant it as well? Oh, she's checking. She's checking to see whether I planted it. Okay, I have have the root script. Is it good? Is that is that good planting? Yay! Well, let's try it with the uh, the yellow one then. Spin in a circle, jump down and place the flower. There we go. I think we did very good. And what's uh, the next step then? We need to water the plant. Plants. Okay, I think we might have a, uh, a few watering cans in here. <laughs> a few uh, buckets of water. Uh, so I'll water this side, Amy, and uh, you can water the other side. So I guess, do we just pour water all over them then? Is that how you water plants? You need to make sure you water them, otherwise they're going to dry up. The plants need a drink. So uh, here we go, watering the plants. And oh no, <laughs> it just destroys them all. It's just destroyed them. And oh no, all my dogs are getting wet. Oh, sorry, Flippy. Sorry, Flippy. Oh no, all of my dogs got all soggy. <laughs> oh dear, and, uh, and I've ruined all of the, the plants as well. Oh well, there we go. I did it though. That was step number three, watering the, the plants. Uh, let's go and put some of these uh, things away in here now, shall we? And uh, let's go and see what the uh, what the test is going to be. A flower arranging test. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is Amy's going to arrange all of these plants and then I need to try and remember uh, the way that she's organised them and then she's going to destroy them on, uh, destroy them all. And then I need to try and place the flowers in the exact same place as she did. And uh, then see if I can get it exactly right. So I'm going to leave the uh, the room for a second, uh, Amy. And uh, you need to, to place down all of the uh, the plants. Then I'm going to come back in, try and remember them. And then I need to leave. And then you need to destroy them. Then I'm going to come back in and... Hello, Lee. Is this a... Is this a new one of your... One of your students? Did you steal this from my classroom, Lee? No, is this, this isn't one of the mannequins. Oh, this is one of the, the pumpkins from there. <laughs> and it's it's a cake monster. Uh, can I, do you mind if I have a, another quick go of, uh, of doing step number two just while I wait for Amy? Is that okay if I just have a quick num, 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 num. There we go. All right, I'll be, I'll be back later, Lee. I'll be back later. <laughs> it looks like my, my chicken called Stew is running around. Shall we have that chicken staying in the school? And that can be Stew the chicken. <laughs> I like that name. Anyway, let's go in here and uh, let's see if I can remember the plants. Okay, so we go uh, oak, birch, spruce, spruce here. And then we got oak, birch, and then red and yellow there. Right, I'm going to leave it. Now you need to smash it all up. You need to smash up all of the plants, Amy, as quick as you can. Then I'm going to go back in and uh, you throw me all the uh, the flowers. And I'm going to try and arrange them exactly the same as they were. Okay, I'm coming back in. I'm coming back in. She's destroyed them all. And let's see if I can remember how they were. Uh oh, I think I um, I think I've already completely forgotten how they how they all were. I think I might know uh, this side a little bit. Oh, here we go. There's a few saplings in here. So I think it was um. Oak, birch, and then spruce and spruce. Is that how it was? Or was it? No, 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 no. I changed my mind. I changed my mind, Amy. I think it was birch, birch, and then spruce there, I think. And on this side, I think there was... Was there a red one around here, maybe? And then this one like that, possibly? 
Is that? I don't think I did it right. No, I didn't do it right. Okay, I think I got some of them right, though. Did I get some of them right? Did I at least get some of them? No, maybe. <laughs> I think I did. I think I got a, a few of them right. Oh, this was wrong. Oh, that was a rose there, was it? Oh, okay. I got that one completely wrong then. Okay, I think I just got them all completely wrong then. <laughs> That's a little bit embarrassing. That's a little bit embarrassing. Okay, Amy, I know I didn't do very well, but you still need to, to give me a score out of 10. So put down a sign uh, with a score from 0 to 10, uh, with 10, of course, being the highest and 1 being the lowest. I don't think I did as well as the, uh, the baking, uh, but I don't know. Who knows? Maybe Amy just thought that I tried really hard <laughs> and uh, maybe she's going to give me a, a good score nonetheless. Let's see what she's going to give me. Is it going to be a good score or not? It's going to be a 8.88. Not bad. Only ever so slightly uh, worse than the, uh, the, 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 the score Lee gave me. So I'm going to settle for that. I'm going to settle for that. Not too bad. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting a I'm getting a little bit tired with all of this work. Let's have recess. Let's go and have playtime, right? I'm ringing the bell. I'm ringing the bell, everyone. We can all run downstairs, and uh, we can all go and uh, go and have some some recess. We can go and have some playtime. Everyone, run downstairs. Everyone, run downstairs. You as well, Squishy. You can join us. No wrong wrong side, Squishy. This way. <laughs> and this is the uh, this is the playground. And Duncan's here and Mittens, right? Duncan, let's go down the slide together. Wee! There we go. And Mittens, I'm going to push you on the swing. Wee! And I'm going to push you on the swing, Amy. Wee! And there's Lee and. Squishy, let's go on the seesaw. Wee, wee, wee. There we go. Playtime over, everyone. Let's go ring the bell. Back to work. Back to work, everyone. <laughs> it always does seem like that, doesn't it, when you're at school? It always seems like your lessons go on for ages and then playtime only lasts for a few minutes. <laughs> it doesn't seem fair, does it? Oh, well. Luckily, I love my lessons as much as I love playtime. And my next lesson is oh, I'm sorry, Lee. Lee, Lee, come here a second. Come here. Your work, yeah, your, your, your subject that you're teaching is baking. You love baking. Why are you moaning? It's your favourite thing. <laughs> ah, Den, he's already got a cake for me there as well. I might come back uh, back up a little bit later to do a bit more of step number two, if that's okay. Anyway, my next lesson is swimming with Squishy. And oh, there's a, there's a sign down here. What does this say? Stretchy before splashy. Oh, very important, very important. You need to do your, your stretches uh, before you go in. So I'm going to do a few squats and uh, I'm going to stretch my, my right arm out. My left arm's just going to just gonna lie there a little bit limp. I don't need to stretch my left arm, but my right arm, I need to have a big stretch. And there we go. I think, um, I think I'm ready to do my swimming. And who have we been joined by? Uh, we've got Gregory Jr. and Fluffy are also going to be learning to swim. So uh, step number one, splash around. I can do that. I can do splashing around. I think my dogs can do that as well. Splash around, splash around in the water, splash around, splash around in the water. I think my dogs are a little bit scared to, to go in, and I don't mind, to be honest, because <laughs> sometimes it's not a, a good idea when my dogs go in the water. But there we go. Step number one. That was easy. That was easy, Squishy. These better get harder. Right. Step number two, doggy paddle. But I'm a cat. I can't do doggy paddle. I'm a cat. My dogs can do doggy paddle, and you can do duck paddle. I'm, I can do I can do kitty cat paddle. Can I do kitty uh, kitty paddle instead of doggy paddle? Is that okay? Is that acceptable? Okay. Right here we go. Oh, go to swim. Go to swim. It's really cold in here, actually. Right there we go. I'm going swimming. I'm going swimming. There we go. Back to the shallow end. There we go. I did my I did my kitty cat paddle. <laughs> and Squishy's showing off now. And uh, we got step number three now, which is synchronized swimming. Very fancy. Okay, so I guess I'll go in first, Squishy. Then you can come in, and I'm going to copy exactly whatever you do. And we need to be as synchronized as possible. We need to move at the exact same time. Okay, looks like we uh, go and spin around in a little circle. A little bit of a bit of a jump out the water there. My dogs are there watching. Oh, no, I fell out. Oh, now we go under the water, and uh, we look left and right, look left and right, look left and right. There we go. I think we're pretty synchronized. Then you jump up and down, jump up and down, jump up and down, and then you bob up to the surface again, and then you start spinning in a circle, and then all you've got to go up, up to here, and then jump back in with a splash. There we go. Perfectly synchronized. <laughs> there we go. I did my... I did my synchronized swimming. And uh, the final thing is the test. It's uh, a test to see how long you can hold your breath. Okay, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Let me have a, a quick cookie before I start, though. <laughs> and uh, let's go and jump in, okay? So after three, jump into the water. Whoever holds their breath for the longest wins. So three, two, one, jump in and... <gasps> 
I'm not very good at that. I'm not very good at holding my breath. You win, Squishy. You win. I don't want to ever do that again. Ah, oh, dear. Okay, Squishy, how did I do? I know I didn't do very good at holding my breath, but I was good at everything else, though, wasn't I? My kitty cat paddle was good, so Squishy is once again, like everyone else, gonna gonna judge me on my test. She's gonna write down a sign uh, with a score from 1 to 10 and uh, tell me uh, how well I did at swimming. I think I did okay. I think I'm okay at swimming. I did better than all of the uh, the other people, all of the other pupils. They didn't even get in the water. They didn't want to get their fur wet. <laughs> it's probably for the uh, the best, to be honest, because dogs and waters generally uh, don't mix, as I found out the uh, the hard way. And, oh, I think Sway, she put down a score and then got rid of it. She changed her mind. <laughs> Maybe if I... If I gave you uh, one or two cookies, Swishy, would that change your mind at all? Would uh, a few cookies sweeten the deal? They did! The cookies sweeten the deals. So they're a bit soggy because I had them in my pocket in the water, but hopefully you don't mind. 10 out of 10! The best score yet! So I got a, uh, a 9 from Lee. An 8.88 from Amy, and uh, then a, uh, a 10 from Squishy. It's looking up. And the final subject is my subject. Everyone come and join me. Everyone come and join me downstairs, because we're going to do combat with Stampy. I am going to teach all of you how to defend yourselves from Googly. So, Amy... Amy, uh, Lee Bear, yep, everyone in, everyone come downstairs, and I'm going to teach you how to defend yourselves from Googly. So, uh, first I'm going to grab from here, uh, I got myself a, a wooden sword, and I'm going to grab myself a, a bow as well. Very important when defending yourself from Googlies. But step number one isn't to do with combat, step number one is to reason with Googlies. Sometimes if you're attacked by a googly, rather than fighting, you could try to reason with it and try and make it not attack you. So what you do is you go, um, zombie, I know you want to attack me right now and eat my brains, but, but, I don't have many uh, brains for one thing, but also, I think instead of uh, eating me, we could maybe go and have a sandwich from the soggy sandwich. Or we could maybe go ice skating, or just go and do anything other than you attacking me. Nope, that's not working. Okay, if reasoning with the googly doesn't work, you then go to step number two, which is pew pew. And pew pew is, yeah, you jump backwards, and then you get the arrow, and you go pew, 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 pew. And then you keep shooting the googly, and if it keeps getting even closer, you go to step three, which is swing and slice. And you get the sword out, and you go swing, slice, swing, slice, swing, slice, and then you knock its head off. And that's how you uh, defeat all of the googlies. <laughs> so they're the... Uh, the three steps that you need to defeat a googly. So I'm going to show you one more time doing all three steps, uh, which is part of the uh, the test. And then you three are going to do it, and I'm going to pick whoever does it best, okay? And sorry, you five are going to do it. My dogs can join in as well. <laughs> right, let me go and uh, stand my, my dogs up and they can uh, join in. Right, so you're walking down the road, and out jumps a googly. You say to the googly, Oh, please don't attack me, Googly. Please don't attack me. I don't want to hurt you. He attacks you anyway. You get the bow out. You go pew, pew, pew. You then jump in and you swing and slice and take out the Googly. So that is how you uh, you should do it. Let me just go and put the uh, the Googly's head back on. And now uh, everyone else, you can go and do it. And whoever does it best uh, is going to be the uh, the star pupil. Is going to be the uh, is going to get the uh, the best marks from a uh, stampy teacher. And there we can see Lee and Amy trying to reason with it. Lee's giving the Googly cake, and Amy's giving it roses. Uh, what Squishy Squishy has decided to give it carrots. It didn't work though. The Googly's are attacking now. And there's Lee going pew pew. Lee's already on to step number two, doing the pew pew. Looks like Squishy's there. Got her got her bow ready. Oh, she's getting cover very wise she's hiding behind the seats to try and have a have cover advantage that's very clever looks like lee's on to step number three amy doesn't want to fight it looks like amy's still there trying to reason with the googly this googly looks like a pin cushion that's covered in arrows <laughs> the one over there looks like it's got a uh, bow and oh no oh no squishy hit my dogs squishy hit my dogs that's not good minus marks minus marks for hitting my dog squishy and squishy's run away <laughs> looks like lee's there still pew pewing <laughs> amy hasn't moved on step number one she's there Still throwing uh, all the roses, and there we go! Lee took out the googly. Lee did all three steps and the other one. <laughs> Which means that, Amy, you get some bonus points uh, for deciding not to fight and doing the peaceful option. <laughs> I'm sorry, Squishy, you get minus points because you shot one of my beloved dogs. 
<laughs> and Lee, you won because you did it perfectly. So Lee is my star pupil. <laughs> oh dear. And what, one thing I want to do very quickly before we uh, we end the school day is just to, to very quickly hop upstairs and just have one more go doing uh, step number two, which is sampling the food. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> and now the final thing of the school day. Oh, hello, Stu. The final thing of the school day is to ring the bell. The final school bell to say, school is out. Everyone's free. You can all go home. <laughs> I want you all to do your homework, though. Don't forget to do your homework. Practice fighting googlies at home. All three steps now. All three steps. <laughs> and goodbye, Squishy. Good work today. Goodbye, Squishy. Bye. That's the end of the episode. That's the end of the school day. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you all later. Bye.